Hey y'all, I got a book outlet haul in and I'm ready to share with you some new fun things that we got to add to our brand new bookshelf. So stick around. These books are going to be in no particular order. It's just a stack of books that I recently got from Book Outlet. As always, there's a $5 off coupon down in the description if you have not ordered from Book Outlet before. Now is the perfect time to use that because there are some really, really great books in there for Christmas and that would make good Christmas gifts. So keep that in mind. These are just fun books that I thought we could add to our library. Some of them we will use right now, like in the season that we're in, and then some of them we'll actually save for next school year. First up is this In the Car activity book, and that is exactly what it is. It is just a fun little activity book with a lot of different things in here, fill in the blanks, mazes, coloring sheets, word searches, all of that kind of stuff. This is going to be going into my daughter's hunting bag. So she has something quiet and something to do while we are in the woods for long periods of time. These little books are really great for her. Next up, this is by a favorite author and illustrator of ours. This is The Lights That Dance in the Night. And so obviously this is talking about Aurora Borealis, The Northern Lights. But also down here you'll see this is the other two books, The Thing Called Snow and The Tree That's Meant to Be. We have both of these. We love them. We also have the big book of bugs, the big book of plants, all of those that are also by Yoval Zomer. We love them. They're just really fun, really cute books. So obviously, like I said, this is just a fun book about the Northern Lights. So this will be a really good one to read now for kind of the winter Christmas season. Next is a continuation of a series that we actually started two years ago, I think. And I am a little disappointed. I got book number four in the Wind Riders series, and it is paperback, which is okay, but we actually have books one and two in hardback, and so I needed three, and I needed it in hardback or hardcover, but it's totally fine. It My daughter will love reading it. You don't have to read them in order, so it's okay. It's just one of those things like on the bookshelf, right? It would be nice to have one, two, three, and them all to be the same, but no big deal. These are really, really fun books about these two kids that go on different adventures, saving different animals throughout the world. That is totally right up my daughter's alley with a little bit of adventure, but also a lot of nature. And there is some fun pictures in here. She really has enjoyed reading this series. This one is Wind Rider's Whale Song of Puffin Cliff. Again, this is book number four. So I'm still on the hunt for book number three, but I am very excited to get this on the shelf for her. Next up, this is one that I don't know where I saw this recommended. However, we have read one of the books that are in this series. We Well, we didn't read it. We actually listened to it on audiobook. So it's kind of the same, but kind of different. And I saw this on Book Outlet and I personally, I thought it was going to be more of an independent reader for my daughter, given the title. But I think this is actually would do better as a read aloud for her. But it is Mr. Lemoncello's very first game. The book that we read was Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library. And that was so, so fun to listen to on audiobook. So we may do the same with this and I may save this um, for an independent reader for a few years from now. And another chapter book that I see recommended often during the winter season that we have never read is The Family Under the Bridge. This is a very short um, chapter book that I would love to do as a read aloud. You guys know I have been struggling with read aloud I really, really want to be able to fit it into my homeschool and it seems like it just doesn't work. We do really great with audiobooks, but I'm going to try my best during our off season 
to see if maybe that's a time that we can get some of these just kind of short, sweet read aloud books in and save the audiobooks for when we are in full school mode because I have so many of these books that I want to read um, that I have purchased already and I don't want that money to be wasted but I also don't want to also buy it on audiobook when I've already purchased the physical copy. So I am trying my best to find something that works and this is one that we are going to add to that list. There are a few others. Nonetheless, I am excited to try and get this one in. It looks like it should be easy enough. There are some pictures in here. The chapters look fairly small. This, this should be doable, y'all. This next one, my daughter actually saw this one, again, from our favorite publisher, which is Wide Eyed, but she saw this one and she really wanted it and I couldn't say no. So it is a year of nature poems. I feel like I have seen this before and it is just one poem for each month of the year. And they're beautiful, beautiful illustrations. This is, again, it's nature. It is right up her alley. She is totally into all of that. And so maybe this is something that she will, will just kind of pick up and read on her, on her own. Poetry isn't something that we naturally gravitate towards. So maybe this will be a fun way for us to get that included um, in our homeschool next year. I am glad that I grabbed this for her because she is excited about it. And that is good enough for me. Whatever she does with it will be great because that's what she's interested in. These last three books are actually for the fall Thanksgiving giving time. And uh, one of them, I'm actually surprised that we didn't have it. Um, and I accidentally ordered two of them. I didn't mean to. So I have an extra that I will find somebody to gift it to. Um, but first up, I have Sailing on the Mayflower. Read about the inspiring journey to the new world. It looks like this is a series as well. There is Walking on the Moon and then winning the vote for women. So I am interested to see, and it has this little stamp here that says, imagine you were there. I have not heard anything about this book. I don't think I've seen it recommended anywhere. The illustrations look really wonderful. It seems like it, it kind of reads like a story, but also it's kind of infographic in the way that it presents the information as well. So I am excited about this one. We will see how we like it and we'll see how information is presented and all of that stuff. If you are familiar with this, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments. All right, this one, run turkey run. This is just a really funny one. I'm pretty sure my friend Katie at Life in the Mundane has recommended this. I, I think that's where I've seen it before. And it is a super, super simple picture book, but she said her kids just love this and they find it so hilarious. So of course I had to add it in. And then the book that I ended up ordering two of accidentally, and then once I got it in, I thought I already had a copy. So I thought I actually had three of them. Turns out, I don't think I actually do. It's Squanto's Journey. Like I said, I thought I already had this, but maybe we had just had gotten it from the library at one point, but I am very excited to actually have this and be able to add it into our library. We will certainly be reading this one this year. Look at those illustrations. So, so beautiful. And that is my book outlet haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.